Hi guys, okay, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back. Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Um, the uh, the city is, is progressing quite nicely. So in the last episode, what I've done is I've laid out our very first coal mine over here, plus a bit of a facility that can be used to process that uh, coal ore into into coal um, and then that can actually be exported straight from here directly over there so now we've got our very first potential big ticket item in terms of export um, we'll quickly have a look coal um, is going to give us 20 um, rubles per ton um, as opposed to the how much we're making at the moment 12 for the boards um, but the big thing with coal is we can do it in bulk um, so we can really do it in bulk. So what I've done, let me quickly show you what I've done over here. And again, what I'll tell you is that it is extremely effective to lay out places with a lot of space. So as you can see, look at this area and this is only processing coal as compared to it's, it's, it's exactly, it's probably bigger than our area over here. So this area you want a little tighter because people need to walk distances. Over here you want um, a fair bit of space. So what I've done, uh, just, just the reason you want space is so that you can add stuff to it. These things have tons of additional um, points where you can add more conveyors. So have a look at that. So here we can add tons of spaces and this is a mod this uh, this uh, conveyor bridge thing that I've done over here is a mod um, so that just makes it easier to cross the, the rails and the roads and the things like that but you've got tons of additional spots where you can add stuff in take coal out um, load it over here take it somewhere else unload it from here this station isn't in use but potentially we can bring in coal and I'm thinking that's probably gonna happen we're gonna want to bring in coal from other mines um, and add it to this facility over here so it can be processed. We don't want to do multiple processing facilities, just the one is going to be fine. Okay, so that's basically it. So now we've got a rail line connected between um, our city of Vibrich over here um, and, and our coal um, outpost that is over here. What I've done in terms of getting people here is um, I didn't actually locate these close together. These are the two places where people will be working. The mine and the uh, processing plant. Uh, what I've done is there's, uh, this is, and this again is a mod, it's a little, what is this called? This is the, um, this is the road rail station. So basically it's a bus stop with a little rail station over here. And I've connected that up with the town and we've now got a little motor wagon that runs people back and forth over there. And if we look at that, it is just about walking distance between the various spots if you do direct um, walking paths. So that's basically what I've done. I've allowed for a nice and direct route to walk um, to this facility and to that facility. And I believe 500 meters is the cutoff or it may be 450 or something. But this is pretty much as far as it's going to go. So anyway, it is, uh, that's quite, I'm quite happy with that. So that means we'll effectively get staff in here. So yes, that's it. What I've done in the middle is over here, I've added, added a diesel um, train station. So the, the, we're going to be using diesel trains for the time being. And they will be loading, um, refueling over here. I've also got my train depot in there. So it's basically a bit of a um, bypass that you can go straight around or you can run through there and get refilled. Um, that is quite important. If you don't have this kind of facility, trains just do all kinds of weird things. Um, what I have however found out is it doesn't seem that I can actually dictate um, at which station uh, at which um, station you need to go. So that is a little bit of a dilemma as I would have wanted to um, have this the main stop and then that be kind of a bypass. Um, so that could be a problem. We may have to go ahead and bypass um, trains all the way maybe around there to have a bypass run around the town. 
Not ideal, but it might be the case. We may have to do that. Alternatively, we may just do a completely separate line on this side that can then tie into the various places as, as you go, because we will have to run additional lines to go and get coal and iron out in the sticks over there. We could also do, we could also contemplate putting um, iron processing on this side and, and make use of this infrastructure over here again so that could also be a thing where we unload the iron over here into a into a into an aggregate storage and then into iron processing right over here somewhere um, into a facility that can then also load over here so that could also be a thing we can we can do that um, and let's quickly have a look i do have inputs i believe on no only on that side so we may see so we could actually maybe unload this way i don't know we'll have a look as we get there we will have a look at that but basically let's quickly run the game a little bit so i can show you what is happening over here so we've get people loaded over there um and let me click the motor wagon so we've got like 70 workers on the motor wagon they um they run through here i believe you won't be refilling all the time so it's interesting that it's routing in such a way then it goes in here through the trees and to the stop unload people people rush off to the various spots apparently not going over here oh there's no need for people right there but they're going to go and work the mine so the mine can go and fill up some more um, or um, or over here so now we've got tons of people working there up to almost up to a hundred um, so we're doing a hundred tons of coal ore per day, I think. So nothing is actually being stored. It's going straight through the processing facility. Um, with tons of coal ore there and we're getting tons of coal ready here. So once we've got a decent amount in here, I believe we shall... We shall um, yeah, so once we've got a decent amount in there, we will set up a train to do our exports. Um, and that, I believe, will get us a little bit closer to not running massive losses in terms of that. So we're, we're, we're importing about half a, a, half a million um, per month? This month. This month, half a million is in imports. The rest is like manpower and stuff, which we know. And we're working on um, res resolving that. Is this, um, this has people and that's running through the coal over here. Tons of coal over here. How many people are working there? So really this facility is doing well and we are getting a lot of coal ready for business. So since we have a fair bit, I am going to purchase a train so that we can go ahead and do that export. So I'm after a diesel locomotive. So we want something that is not too pricey. Wow, look at that one. Massive um that may be good enough because i don't think we're gonna run tons of this stuff and 80 kilometers an hour is fine so i'm gonna go with the cheapest one over there nice and colorful then we're gonna go with cargo wagons we want some hoppers over here to export coal so if we're saying 60 tons so if we do five it's 300 tons one two three four five and i think i'm just gonna run it like that just five of them back and forth um, should be sufficient um, to kind of keep processing the coal out through there. Okay, so now with that train in here, I'll select it and we will set up a route. So we'll say, buddies, you're going to come and load over here and I'll tell you what to load. And then you're going to come and unload over there. It's going to be really cool. Um, from time to time, we will he will come back and come and um, refuel over here, which is okay. I think that should be fine. We're going to try and not get the trains to be too long. 300 tons is a lot. Okay, at the loading facility, we're going to go ahead and load coal. And we're going to wait till we're 100% full. Over here, we're going to unload all the coal. And that's it. As simple as that. Start the operation. First stop is unreachable from current vehicle position. I doubt it very, very, very much. You, unless, unless, let me pause the game, unless I think something may have happened here and that it uses the first access point. 
So potentially what we want to do is if we do something like that, what I wonder is if that is actually, uh, can we use that as a switch? I don't know. Let's try it again. I think it may have uh, made the change now. So let's run the game and let's say start. Still not. Okay. I was wondering if that is now going to be an issue. That is not ideal. Why? Where are you at? Why are you unreachable? Can I just double check that we've got everything sorted through here? That is in fact connected, right? That is connected under there. That is connected. That is connected. I can't see if it's connected on the other side. It should be. And that is connected. So really, why, why would you say that you're, um, is this, oh, uh, this, yeah, that's, that's the problem. That is the problem. It is a signaling problem. Okay. The issue with signaling on this game, and I'll quickly run through signaling. That is the case. That is the problem. So I believe I'll, I'll come and explain signaling in a little bit. So let me go and we'll start it and there it goes so it was in fact a signaling problem we didn't need this okay so what i'll do is i'm actually going to get rid of it because i don't like it so you if you grab this cancel railway tool you can quite easily select the piece that you want to oh it's being used by a vehicle let's get the vehicle out of there okay now you can quite easily um remove a section that you want to remove okay so there it goes, waiting for that one. It's going to go through there. I'll talk through signaling in just a minute. Signaling in this game is pretty complex compared to things like transport fever. Okay, here it goes. It's going to load up. It loads up pretty quickly, uh, presuming the stuff is available. It is, in fact, available. Nice there. It's got a full 300 tons. Okay, I'm going to follow this and then uh, when it's come, once it comes or uh, once it's finished its unload on the other side, we will have a look. How much fuel does it have? It's pretty close to empty, so probably on its way back, it will uh, try and go and refill. I'm hoping because it's 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 pretty pretty empty. Okay, so here it comes. Um, this is presumably only 6000 Oh, yeah, it is. But I'm hoping we can run back and forth with this a fair bit. So there it goes, unloads the 300 tons of coal over there. Um, so let's have a look at this. So for the first time, we're actually um, getting our exports to um, outpace our imports. Okay, it is the 1st of March. So at the end of March, we should have a, a, a good view of how much money we're making. Why are you saying you cannot find your way? This could again be a signaling thing. Here you see. So a thing with the signals is you can quite easily click it twice and then it goes into the wrong direction. Now it should find its path. There it goes. Nice. Okay. So signaling. Let's talk signaling. Um, you can dictate the direction of travel through your signals. But bear in mind that if you have done that, like this. Okay, look, this, can this train just move away so it stops making a bit of a noise there? Okay, so let, let's have a look. So, signaling this. So, you click it once, um, then you install a signal. This is a two way signal on a single line. Then you click it again. Then, this is a one way in the direction of the arrow. And you click it again, and it goes in the other direction. So, you can set up left and the right hand drives over here. What you need to then look out for, so then you just do standard signaling all along the way, uh, bearing in mind that um, all tracks that are connected between two signals are one block, so you can't have more than one train in a block, okay? If the rails are not connected, like in this situation over here, when one goes this way and the other goes this way, they're not connected at all, then these are two blocks so that you can have a train on both sides of the rail here no problem in between these signals so only this is a block and that is a block so that's that's no problem when you get to and let's maybe not get to the complex situation of this one let's uh, let's talk let's talk uh, a little a little thing like this 
when you get to this, everything... Uh, where can we get something that's a little bit more simple? I want to I want to talk a little simpler first. Okay, when you get to this, okay, this is a split. Okay, here, everything in here is one block. So you can only have one train in here at a time. So once something passes any one of these signals, the entire block will be closed off for inbound travel. And this is where I found a lot of issues happening. Um, because it's not immediate. So sometimes what happens is you get two trains stuck in a block like this at the same time. I don't quite know how that happens, but it's got something to do with the fact that the signal isn't instantaneous. It, the vehicle goes in and then the signal changes. So if there's two of them that enters at the same time, you kind of have a bit of a problem. Okay, now let's let's look at some stuff that's a little bit more complex. If we look at this, this is a chain signal. It's the other one. How a chain signal works, it basically looks ahead to the next signal. So if any of these other outgoing signals are red, this chain signal will kind of have a blue light, meaning that if you that you sh the, the train can't enter if it's going to one of the red signals. It can only enter and go through if if it's if this if the second signal that it's looking towards is gr in fact green. So that kind of helps that you don't get trains stuck in a situation like this. Um, I kind of use chain signals where you start getting these complex situations over here. So what are we ha what's happening over here in terms of signals? You can see that this route is the bypass and I want to maintain one-way traffic on that. So um, on the right side, it's a right side traffic or right. Um, the direction of travel is on the right hand lane or I don't know what, how better to say that. So right hand drive. So the outside lane there would be the one that's traveling this way and then the inside lane will be traveling in that way. All the others are two directional tracks. Okay. So what you can see over here is you can come into the depot over there and out over there. Okay. So yeah, ideally that's not a big deal. Those potentially don't have to be, don't have to be. They can be either, but it's not too, too big of a deal. What I'm doing here is I'm actually allowing um, vehicles to maneuver um, from one direction to the other direction in here. And that's why. So I'm actually allowing you to come in over here. But I'm going to, going to allow um, the outbound in both directions. Not Again, not a big deal. What you actually would want is you want this double signal or this two directional signal to be on this side. I'm just thinking about that now. So what I should actually do is I should install, let's grab this signal, I should install the signal over there, meaning that it is allowing um, this train from here to operate to either one of these. And similarly, this, again, probably that's the spot for it instead from there to go to either one of those. But then these should be ooh, the other way around should be something like this instead. That I believe should be like this. That should go like that. So I do one way traffic in most areas like that. Okay, that one again can go in both directions like so. And then on the inside, you can go, you can use either one of these by using this switch over there. So quite a complex setup, but I believe that should be quite workable. Okay, is our train coming back and loading straight away? Again, what I've done, I've done the same thing on this side. So it's a double direction. So on that side. So once you enter here, you can actually make use of either one. Uh, because we don't have um, place for signals over here, I only have the one set on that side. Similarly over here, but on this side I'm actually doing a double signal just so the blocks don't get too big because that takes time for trains to get through. But this might be problematic anyway. We'll, we'll have to see. Okay, so it's, it's loading up again. So this time around it's not going to load as quickly because we don't have the stockpile ready to go. Okay. Now that was just a kind of a bit of a run through on signaling. So let's say we're going to extend um, the the game over here. We're going to go ahead and do our thing. Uh, let's have a quick look. How's it, how's it going? So we are, it looks like we're okay. We're actually dealing with 
more imports than exports at the moment. Now, we're not doing a lot, but in terms of just the stuff that we're buying to sell to our people, it means that we are doing a bit of a better job over there. Um, this is stocking up. So, in fact, what I'll go ahead and do, I will assign. So, this is the construction yard. You have to assign facilities that is gonna gonna grab a lot of the stuff that we need. So boards can become can be collected over here. So this facility can come and grab boards over there to build with. Um, it can go and grab workers from the bus station over there, and then we don't have gravel or anything like that. So I think the first thing that we need is gravel because if we get gravel, we can start building our very own roads. And this thing looks like it's gonna be a nice connection into there. Okay, let's have a look. So gravel. And with gravel, um, again, you get the rock directly. Ah, this might be a good spot for the gravel. We can actually run a little bus up here to come and get it. Okay, so let's get ourselves a gravel facility up here. We're still going to just build it off directly. Oh, so the gravel quarry um, up here. And this could be a good spot. Let's switch on the wireframe. So this is going to be a pretty tough area to, to go to. Okay. So what we could do is we can place our facility. Let's, uh, let's uh, unselect it so we can do this time again. So can we, we should be able to build it right there and its quality should be pretty decent so let's um so now we're paying to have this leveled which is okay i don't mind it too much it's not too much money well that's actually all the rubles we get from a single can we so that's not uh come on holy moly it's going to cost us a lot of money to level that. Why is it doing it so slowly? I'm not using my own stuff though. Let's try it. If I switch this off and we use our own stuff. Oh yeah, here are our own guys. Oh, that's that's effectively it. I thought that a little bit far away, but we'll uh, we'll sort that out. Hopefully, we can we can maneuver this so that we can actually get this to be built. It's uh, it's slow going. Um, excellent. There we go. Building it over there. So let's uh, let's build it with rubles. It's built straight away. Uh, pause the game a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, it'll be an absolute nightmare to get up here. First things first, we need to procure ourselves an ex excavator. Speed to So we'll grab one of them. Um, it needs power, so power should be able to. We should be able to get power here quite, quite, quite effectively. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and place um, here. I want to place uh, one of these um, cableways. So, what do we have with cableways? Lay cable, remove cable, light cable pole, heavy cable pole. So I'm not too sure what the difference is. Then we've got a big cable station and a small cable station. Um, so it can use, does it make a difference, the cable station? What's the size like? So I can quite easily place a cable. Ooh, and the cable station, however, will in fact have um, a facility so we can run into storage. Hmm, that is... That's a good idea. So we're going to get gravel to come down here and there'll be a gravel unloading process or something that goes on over here. We'll have a look. Maybe it's going to be as simple as that. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll place this one here. The power lines is going to be a bit of a challenge. So we'll have a look to see what we can do with that. But I think that is about the spot that we're going to do. So that's going to be the cableway station right over there. Uh, and we'll come back and build that. What I'm keen on is um, uh, we'll do the the bigger one. How do you? How are you saying you've got infrastructure in the way here? Honestly, you can't. You can't. If we do the light pole, it seems a little weird. 
Anyway, what I would what I would want to do. And now I'm kind of wondering whether we should uh, should raise this up a little over here, so that it. Oh, we could place one on this side, can we? Can we place it on this side? Oh yeah, there it goes. Green, green. Is it connected though? If we can place one on this side, okay. So unfortunately, let's uh, let's get rid of this. We'll move it back a little bit. Uh, okay, get rid of both of those. What we'll do is we'll move it in there a little bit. So this is how you learn. Um, I don't want to do tons of this stuff, but this is kind of where we're going to start it off. So if I do that, okay, that should be fine. We'll grab ourselves the little bit of gravel road there and we'll connect it up right over there. That's fine. We'll pay for that. And now what we'll go ahead and do is get the cable way in place. So now cable way. Excellent. There we go. Oh, okay. So going across the road there was fine. Yeah, so you need to do it something like that now. Ah, light, nice. So now we can actually go underneath these. Oh man, that is awesome. There we go. Cable, cable way. Let's see, how far do we have to go? Ooh, all the way up there. Man, oh man, this is fun. I like this. Okay, if we... We're going to need to... Angle is too sharp, is it? Okay, so we need to turn this thing extremely slowly to get it to the spot we want to go. Okay, we're kind of in the right spot. So now we need a station on this side too. And the issue, I believe, is that does not have any kind of other connection, does it? It doesn't have a, it doesn't have this connection, okay? So the only thing it could have is a little bit of a, a truck situation here. So it doesn't have a conveyor, right? It doesn't have a conveyor. Does this one have a conveyor? That doesn't have a conveyor either. So what are your options then? So really, it's only by road or by forklift. So grab this one. Yeah, it seems only forklift or road. So let's try and... So we obviously need to make sure that we connect it up like this. And now I'm kind of contemplating bringing it in from this side instead. Um, so that it's closer for the people to be walking. So we will bring it back then. It's fine. Okay. So what I'm actually then worried about is... So let's... Um, I'm going to get rid of that one over there. Thank you so much. We're going to grab this again. Ooh. And now we're going to try and... Okay, so that's going to be an issue. So we'll get rid of that one. Believe that should be fine. And then that should be fine. So there we go. There it is. Now, what I don't have working here just yet is we are going to need ourselves a little bit of a road. Um, and we, for some reason, we can't cross this infrastructure here. So where can I, in fact, oh, there we go. We'll cross it over there. Okay, so there we can do this. And now this is going to be an issue. This is always going to be the issue. Can I, if I run it all the way back, can we find something that works? Okay, so this is going to be an issue. So I thought the cable way was going to resolve a lot of this but it seems like it did not um, actually we need to probably make this whole thing a little uh, 
Let's try that. If we just do this, I was hoping. Uh, is there a straight away an issue there? Let's try that again. If we, if we do a little work over there, can we maybe? Yeah, something like that maybe. Can that, can that sort us out a little? Let's try that again. Okay. Guys, what I will do is I will um, leave you be for a minute. So I will fast forward all the stuff that I'm going to need to do to try and get this to work. And we will come back when, um, actually, before I do that, I'll come back and do that afterwards. What we need to do now is, so now if we've got the cable way down here, um, and I believe we've got the forklift operation thingy on that side. Excellent. So we'll move from there. So what else is going to be, this is going to be gravel. So from gravel, we then need to do gravel processing. But so I'm thinking maybe a small aggregate storage instead. Uh, and that doesn't do much for us. The large one. Oh, okay. And then the gravel processing facility. Okay. So again, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to unload these things with, um, with a truck. So, truck, truck, loading, truck, unloading. I kind of wonder how that's going to work. I'll need to maybe check that out a little bit later. Truck loading and truck, is there a truck unloading? I don't believe there is. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get our gravel processing facility in here somewhere. And then that can go to an aggregate storage or something something to that effect. Okay, that should be... Well, let's make room for some form of aggregate storage. Um, if we say we're going to do small aggregate storage only. And then we're going to probably do a little something like this. And we're going to run it into, into the processing facility over here somewhere. So we'll leave a little bit of room like that. Um, we probably need to build that straight away. So we'll do this kind of thing. Okay. And then we'll have gravel available. So that's kind of generally, generally the feel. So these things should be coming down um, from the mountain up here. And then we should be able to process gravel over there. And we should be able to use this to actually load it here. So that we can actually take gravel all the way um, to the other places. We could potentially do a much more substantial gravel um, operation here with all of this. We just need to figure a few things out. Okay, so guys, um, with that in mind, I'm going to um, quickly uh, go into fast forward mode and I will show you the end product, but it's going to take me a little bit of time to just sort out what we've got going on over here. So I will see you on the other side. Okay, guys, I think I've got it kind of sorted out now. Let's uh, let's have a look. There's all kinds of other things that we need to do as well. But um, let's have a quick look at where we're at at the moment. So I've purchased a few of these um, these things. Cable, uh, cable way engine is, uh, is turned off. Um, okay, let's have a look. This side, is this side turned on? Second station is without power supply. Okay, so we need to get some power up there. Let's get, uh, get this wireframe off again. Let's uh, see. So we're going to need power up here somewhere. I will kind of do it just a little bit like this and we'll try and run it in the same kind of little reserve there. Um, I'm going to auto build this thing. So that should work. I've managed to get it. I had to remove, I had to move it and, and shape it and all these kind of things. Um, and I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of a road connection up there anyway because um, because it's uh, it's because we're going to need to get a truck up there to move the gravel. So again, with uh, it not being great, um, not being great. Anyway, let's uh, let's get rid of. Can I? I can't get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. Um, then let's grab the mod. We'll get give ourselves the bit of the. Um, what am I looking for? The power transformer, which we will do this way. I do like this uh, this modded transformer where we can actually um, where we can actually squeeze in the various uh, the, the various types of um, of outputs along the way. Come on, 
honestly, am I, am I, am I not going to be able to... Oh, crap. Come on, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, what I'll do then is I will get rid of this guy. And we'll try and bridge it across there and then here. Perfect. So now that's going to be working. Now let's get the uh, the medium voltage wires up here. We'll run, um, actually, and let's run it from this one. Up there, right next to these cables. We'll tie it in straight over there. Good stuff. And the last thing I want to do is I want to grab us uh, one of these little general roads here okay so if we can we'll just run it up there actually we probably need to turn it off like that and then we'll run it in here that's kind of where I wanted it to go uh, and we'll tie it in straight over there and we'll also see about tying something like that and potentially tying all of these up as we go along. So anyway, now this is a little road that goes up there and it should be powered. And if I have a look at this, cableway engine is turned off. Okay, so let's say start. So now we've got stuff that goes up and down. Uh, we obviously need to get our people to the station, which is something I've forgot to do so let's uh, tie that in over there so these guys should now be able to actually get to the cableway station quite easily and effectively um, once they're now um, there and then we should be able to bring bring stuff down what I wanted to do quickly still uh, what are you why are you lost um, because you can't get back onto the right side of things. So can you turn around, please? Ah, okay. So I see there's a bit of a problem here. I'll pause it for a second. I'm hoping I can get rid of the, um, the crossover. Let's quickly have a look at that. So you can't actually get here. Can I, can I get rid of that? Excellent. Now, can I just move the crossover a little bit closer up here instead? Okay, so if we do something like that, and we get that built straight away, then it'll, fi it'll find his way. Okay, so I think we've sorted that out. That's pretty good. Now, with that in mind, I still need to get a truck to go up there. So let's grab ourselves... Um, a couple of these open hull trucks. Let's have a quick look. Um, no, 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 not open hull. Dumper truck is what I'm after. Get ourselves a bit of a dumper. Something that can accommodate a fair bit. So let's do... I'll do two of them. Two of them is should be sufficient. So let's grab that. I'm going to say come over here. Um, pick up over there. And then drop off over there. Um, this will be... Wait until fully loaded with gravel, quarried stone, and then unload. Wait until everything is unloaded of quarried stone. And we'll copy that and we'll say, please start, make your way over there. And I'll paste it on the other one as well. Um, and then we'll um, get you to start also. And hopefully the two of them should be able to... Oh, the one problem that we have is it's going to take ages to get um, fueled up so we'll need to get a fuel facility closer by it's something that I'm I'm keen I'm happy to do do we have workers up here no workers whatsoever um, let's have a quick look when was the last time we actually saw the the little train here it comes let's quickly see it's got 49 workers on there um, it's going to run run through here in a very weird weird way. Anyway, that's fine. And then it's going to come and unload people. What I'm keen to see is if it's actually going to do send people to that spot there. If not, I'll have to manually distribute some workers in that direction. Um, so it's all going to the mine. It's effectively not sending people up there. So what I'll do is I will have to specify there 
there and here and the mine needs to get um, by far the most so something like that should probably be sufficient how many yeah actually maybe we'll need to do maybe a little a little something like that maybe is probably about the right drop that that one down only about 10 percent of them anyway that should should be fine so let's um let's see if that one once that one comes back let's have a quick look how that works this facility should be able to process some stuff and now this guy's coming back okay what we need is we need i've got a modded little rural um gas station over here which i will just place off the side of the road over here so it's not gonna bother us too much it will be powered over here um so that's what it's going to be there's going to be a little rural a rural station over there so hopefully these guys doesn't have to go too far to get to get filled up i didn't want to put it all the way up here because over here anything that's trucking by here should also be able to to make use of it and if we start using buses over here they'll be able to make use of it as well so that's fine uh we could have probably put it somewhere over here that makes a little bit more sense but that's okay now this guy unfortunately is going miles and miles away where are my other guys um waiting for the train to come back and we probably need to add an extra train to this line just to get people here a little quicker so now people will be distributing towards that spot there and then hopefully we'll be able to get them to to go up on these passenger cars so in that one we should have people in there 12 workers in there the next one is coming got nothing else here okay so people are going up so i'm hoping to see that it actually works it might be a little quicker than the bus not sure how it works in terms of power and all these kind of functionalities um, but hopefully now we should have some people yeah there they go they're gonna come and work here um okay what's going on we cannot store or export okay yeah waiting on the truck that's fine we understand the truck will be there in a jiffy okay truck is being filled up the next truck will be standing by waiting i think the two truck system is probably going to be sufficient you're going to bring it over here i'm very keen to see how this works ah we probably need an extra truck to be honest so are you going to dump it there okay so it seems like the truck has to store it this one has got absolutely nothing in there oh hang on it can't actually do it it can't actually do it it can do all kinds of stuff but it can't seem to it doesn't do the stone thing okay so what we would need to do is there's another setup that we would have to use um, if i have a look over here quickly it seems like there's a cableway aggregate loading and quarried stone would have to go in here loading small so if we do that right the issue with it is, um, and I'm sure we can't actually tie it together. We'll have to run an extra one. So let's say we place this thing somewhere here. Now the issue is it doesn't, uh, potentially it can load in, in that way. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Can we place it? okay so let's try and place it like that okay i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a go and see if that works again this will cost us another line of these things to go down here um into something into a facility over here that will unload into something over there so that's kind of what's going to be the situation there okay let's have a quick look uh, we'll give it a bit of a, a road connection because it's going to need to 
get that sorted out. Now, can this unload and load from a vehicle? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It is a cableway aggregate loading big facility. Um, so let's quickly run down a set of cables. I'm pretty sure it can't just join. We have no way of, we can't actually join this. There's no, no, no way of actually doing that. Can we? So that's a bit of a bummer. We can't actually. Some infrastructure in the way. Can't build close to infrastructure. Okay, what I'll be doing. What I'll end up doing is I will get rid of this road ever so briefly. So let's uh, just get rid of that section over there. We'll try and get the um, the cableway in place here. Yes, it is. It'll work. So we'll get the cableway in place here. Okay. So let's place it there. Uh, we're going to get rid of that little section. So we don't have to worry about that too much. We will move it a little bit like this so it turns. And then we're going to uh, try and run it down as best we can. Down there. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty lengthy. We'll do it a little bit like that. One over there, one over here. Okay, so now we probably will have to redo that section. So let's get rid of these two. We'll bring them in again. Uh, we'll do. We'll do a little. Mm, A little something like that and excellent this is going to work what's the longest we can make it be oh that actually works something like that hopefully we can squeeze it in over here can we Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, there it goes. We should be able to cross the road. There we go. And now we need a facility here to kind of catch it. So now it's a unloading facility. Okay, can we get it pretty close here? Do we need to get rid of that road first? We'll do that. We'll get rid of this road and we will get the unloading the big unloading facility in place over here and it will be powered that is going to be awesome so we'll squeeze that in that's fine and now we can actually get the conveyors to sort it out over here um, and what's going to happen is we're going to not build up a buffer of quarried stone in this case because we don't have enough room and again what I, as i've been telling you we need to always make sure that we have enough room in place um this section no oh okay hang on so that's not going to work so now we'll what we'll have to do is we'll have to actually truck it again over here so truck up there truck down here and that's effectively going to be um, how it's going to work. So because there is outputs but no inputs on this side. Okay, so trucking is going to be our only option. There's no conveyors or any any other options for us. Okay, let's get the road sorted out and then that's going to be kind of be the end of the episode. Uh, come on. Oh, select. I've got the road selected. What's going on? Okay, all of this being built. Okay, let's, uh, I'm tempted to kind of just get rid of that road section there a little bit. We'll do something like that. We will kind of tweak it in here and probably see if we can't 
well anyway let's just uh, tie it in right over there okay so now what we'll do is over here I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna say which kind of cabins do we have um, and I can't actually we've got people kind of waiting here but we don't have cabins in the station anyway that's okay so, oh, station is without power. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So people are stuck up there. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, let's quickly fix that. There is certainly a lot of fixing in this game. Okay, so that's okay. What we'll do is we'll clear out that one and we'll bring in this one over there. So now that should give us power up there once more. Um, I believe we'll procure... Cable is turned off. Okay, what we'll do here is now we'll purchase these things, the heavy ones. Cool. Let's get like eight of them. Hopefully that is, well, let's get ten of them like so and we'll start it. And now it will run up and down, I believe. There we go. And ooh, what we need to do is these guys, um, these trucks, these trucks. Let's uh, just make sure we change this so you... Um, let's add the station. You're going to come in over here um, and you're going to not load. You're going to unload all your quarried stone. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will get rid of that piece. Okay, and I'm going to copy this and we're going to do it on the other one. Oh, anyway, that's not going to work. So let's get rid of that one. Fine, we'll add the extra one first. I'll change the road any minute now um, we're gonna go ahead and not load anything here we're gonna unload our quarried stone uh, wait until unloaded we're gonna get rid of that guy over there um, and we're gonna say go to this station please and that's fine and then we just need to make sure we put a bit of a road back in here and that will kind of be so let's have a look where can we squeeze Honestly, we can't squeeze a road anywhere here. There has to be a spot where a road can come through. Not there, not there, not there. Honestly, not there. Really? This is, how, how is this such a big problem? Is it too steep? Is there infrastructure in the way? Oh, it seems to be. Anyway, we should, we should find a spot. There should be a spot somewhere where we should be able to get this to work. So for instance, Somewhere right up against this thing, we should be able to get. Honestly, because it worked quite well on this side, though. Ah, oh, there it is. Got it. Now, unfortunately, it seems like we still need to do some more stuff here. So let's get that out of the way and we'll try and tie this back in. However, we will need to do some stuff like this. I'm hoping that'll be sufficient for us. So let's let's try and sort that out a little bit. We'll try and, and do that and see. Can we... Come on. Nice. Nice. Come on, buddies. Uh, let's tie that one back a little bit and we'll try if we do that. Okay, let's uh, pull this back again. Try that one more time here. Okay, let's try this again. This is a uh, this is a bit of craziness. So let's uh, get rid of some of these paths. Something like that should be okay. And then if we try and level. Um, the playing field here just a tad 
Hopefully that will... Honestly, that's too steep. Still. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, like that, like that, come on, like that, and like so, anyway, there we go, these guys should be able to find that path, okay, now they're going to go, so let's quickly see that, and then it'll be the end, just want to see that this is actually working, you need to go to no so you okay is that is that gonna work are you gonna be able to load yes you are gonna load okay that is great I don't okay that's cool that's cool that's cool okay now let's uh, let's add this one over there pause the game you're gonna unload over there um, all the quarry stone wait until you are unloaded fully um, then we're going to go here and we're going to delete that one and we're going to say you're coming to to that one. Perfect. There you go. So now I'm hoping um, the whole setup will be working a little bit better. Um, so I'll try and fix a little bit of this. Um, so how many how many does it take? One. Two, three, three. So it takes three to unload that that bad guy, that bad boy. Okay, so three. So I'll I'll try and optimize this thing a little bit. Um, I'm not sure this is the most optimum and effective. You can may as well get the guys to run up and down here with the with the with the truck, um, considering what we're doing over here. But guys, so that's been um, the next step for us so that we can get gravel, so that we can start building our own roads and things like that. We spent our first two million. If we look at the money situation, again, we've imported a ton of stuff. Uh, predominantly, yeah, from a resources point of view, um, power is costing us a fair bit steel. So it's the construction that's costing us a fair bit of stuff. The rest is fairly manageable chunks. Um, power, even power is pretty low, so it's just the steel. So we should get steel production up and running um, as soon as we can because that'll, I think that'll save us a lot of money. Guys, anyway, thank you so much. This is a new series, um, so I appreciate your like and support. If you have, in fact, enjoyed it, leave your comments down below. Join us on the Discord to discuss what we're doing over here um, in a little bit more detail. Um, the link is in the description below. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.